Hey guys, just uh, going through a little bit of model prep here, and I had a, a neat trick that I wanted to show off a little bit here in version 2020. Um, what I've got is the sheet metal pan, and you can kind of see I've got extra stuff on it. I've got some more parts here, some sheet metal parts that are part of this assembly. Here's a little bracket up top there and some weld nuts. So there's a few extra things that are part of this of this assembly here, but what I'd like to show you guys is a little way to clean that up or a little trick. So I'm going to do it first on this part up here. So I'm just going to be splitting up the CAD. If this CAD comes to me as one single model, I just named it the sheet metal part here because the, the part number was all up here. It was just a mess. So I just changed the name to the, uh, the sheet metal part. But now if I was thinking I want to pull this one piece out of this assembly and have that as a separate, the way I'm going to do that is I am going to hit my space bar, which is a selector key, and then I get the, uh, the crosshatch looking uh, cursor here. What I can do is I mouse over the part that I would like to split out and then with the right mouse key, when I tap on that, I do a selection of the island. That island selection, here I'll hit space bar again, it grabs that whole entity of that part. So maybe that's a part I gotta pull out of there, or measure that as a separate, I don't know, but I would like to split that out of this assembly. So once I've got that part in the, uh, in the red mode here, or highlight, I can mouse over what I've got as the reference, the sheet metal part, and if I right click, and I go to my edit, split, and move the elements. Notice what Polyworks does is it goes and it grabs that sheet metal part and it puts it as a separate line item here and I'm gonna click kind of slow double click so I can change the name and I'm, I don't know what I even call this thing. Let's call it a left uh, uh, stiffener. How's that? It's a left stiffener bracket. Okay, so I give it a name, hit the enter key. Now notice when I mouse over the name, the left stiffener bracket, and if I middle mouse button push down, you can see that that part is showing or hiding as I do that. So that's just kind of a way you can go through and clean up your CAD models if you've got some information in here that you would like to keep. You just want to move it out of this main, uh, this main part or this main assembly up here.